is Marie Bennett and uh, in this video we're going to work on making a gift bag and because it is um, the spring and getting close to graduation um, I'm going to use graduation stamps but really you could use any um, stamps or any theme that you want to create a cute little gift bag so we're going to be using this class of 2015 stamp and we're going to be using these um, cheerful critter stamps from Stampin' Up and I'm going to use this little guy right here with the striped shirt and we're also going to use the sentiments hooray way to go let's party and happy day in addition to these two stamp sets we're going to be using the stays on uh, black stays on ink and the garden green classic stampin pad uh, because the colors of our high school here in town are green and black and white so let's get started all right um, we're going to uh, use this little cute little critter guy, critter guy and get him inked up with the stays on ink and I want him going in all different directions around the paper like a little explosion of this cute critter cheerful critter uh, but I want the one at the top of both sides to be facing up and because the bat this bag is going to be folded the paper will be folded like this so on one side of the uh, paper he'll be facing up and on the other side he'll be facing up so we need to have the image be opposite of each other and now once I have those two images the way I want them after that I'm just going to stamp at random and trying not to overlap the images very much but uh, stamp at random both on and off the paper so that maybe the whole image won't be on the paper it'll just be like all over the page so I'm going to finish that up and I'll be okay, right back. So I've got uh, this cute little critter stamped all over this sh sheet of eight and a half by eleven Whisper White cardstock, and the next job is to stamp little greetings in all of the flags he's holding up. So I'm going to start with this one that says "Hooray." And just at random, I'm going to stamp uh, hooray in four of the boxes. And where the critter is upside down, I'll have to make sure that the greeting is upside down too. One. Get this one off the edge here, maybe. I don't think it really matters. I just have this thing about balance. Okay. Then I'm going to do this one that says happy day. Decisions, decisions. I think right here. Okay, happy day. Then this one says, let's party.
Okay, and the last one says, way to go. So I'll just fill in the remaining boxes with way to go. Oops, one more. The guy up here needs a sentiment too. Way to go. All right, now I need to use my uh, garden or yeah, garden green stamp and write marker, and I want to use the paintbrush end, and I'm just going to uh, color in or I should say on the shirt. I'm not going to really um, make it fussy. Just put some color on the shirts. All the shirts are going to be green. And so when I get done with this, I'll be right back. Well, my uh, eight and a half by 11 sheet of Whisper White is all <laughs> decorated up and the easiest way for me to turn it into a gift bag is to use my Simply Scored Stampin' Up! Scoring tool and I'm going to score it the long way at three quarters inch, four and a half inches, six and a half inches, and ten and th one quarter inch. So using the smaller end of my scoring tool I want to give it a good score uh, without breaking the fiber of the paper. I think if you press too hard trying to do it all in one step, then you wind up kind of breaking the fibers and tearing your paper. All right, now the next thing I need to do is turn my paper around, and this time I'm going to score it at two inches and again at six and a half inches. Okay, so the scoring is finished. Okay, I lied. The scoring is not finished. <laughs> I need to uh, make four more score marks from the corners where these two score lines meet I need to score so I just kind of find find it and my my lines are going this way using this diagonal scoring pad so I just find a groove and score to the edge and then bring it back and then um, down here I do the same thing I start at the corner find a groove oops that's not the corner here's the corner right here Start at the corner, find a groove, and score it to the edge. Then I'm going to need to turn my scoring plate. And uh, this time the lines will go the other direction. So start at the corner, find a groove, and then down here the same thing. Okay, now my scoring is done. We'll be folding it um, on all of the score lines using our bone folder. And notice I scored it with the pattern side of the paper up uh, because the score, the grooves give you the line to score in on the side that the stylus is going in. That makes no sense at all, but I said it anyway. <laughs> anyway, you'll be happier with the results if you score on top.
Oops, sorry, bumped the camera. All right, now we've got all of the score lines um, creased except the diagonal ones. And the diagonal ones you do by folding the side in and then lifting it up and they just kind of naturally fall into place. Then give it a crease. Same thing on the other side. Lift it up. It falls into place. Give it a crease. Okay, so everything is folded, creased, and you can see that the box is starting to take shape. I like to use the uh, sticky tape for this project, but the fast fuse that Stampin' Up! sells, I'm sure, would work. And probably there are other products that would do the job, but I just like this sticky tape. Stampin' Up! sells the sticky tape too, but I just happen to have this wider sticky tape a um, little bit left over, so I thought I would use it up. So I'm putting the tape on from, from the, the diagonal line up. Okay, then we'll peel off the, the red layer. And then fold the paper in and press it down. And what we have is a box. Now I like to kind of just give it a little bit of a pinch in there just to kind of encourage that edge of that box to stay inside. So there's the basic box. Next thing we're going to do is put the um, the greeting on the outside of the bag. This uh, simple greeting using the uh, class of 2015 stamp and I embossed it with white embossing powder and then put it on a piece of uh, black cardstock and that's a, just a, a very simple decoration for this bag. I'm going to attach it just using um, snail adhesive and then when I decide I have to decide which side do I like better because that's the one that I like better will be in the back uh, because it will be the side that's showing. So I have this side that's got a little more empty space and this side that's got a little more filled in. And I think I think I'm going to put the label on the side with the empty space. Center it in this space right here. Okay. Now at the top where the score line is, that's kind of the where the bag comes together. And to hold it together, I'm going to use one half of a circle of Velcro. Okay, so I just peel the backing off of one side and try to center it here on my on the top there then I carefully peel that piece off leaving them stuck together and then line up the edges like that and stick it together and then except for the handle my little gift bag is complete 
for the handle I have punched um, two quarter inch circles here using my uh, Stampin' Up! quarter inch circle punch and I'm going to um, thread the I've got two pieces of ribbon each piece is 11 inches and I'm going to thread it through from the inside and tie my knot on the outside of the bag. You can do it the other way and have your knot on the inside of the bag whichever way you like better. So I'm going to, to put one side on and one hole for the other side. One knot. And then I need to line the ribbon up to make sure that the two pieces are going to be the same length once the knots are tied. So I'll know how tight or loose to ah, sorry, to make my ribbon on the other side. So oops. Just about tied the knot first. You actually you could, you just have to thread the other end through the hole, but I'll do it this way. All right, so now the only question is where to put the knot on this end. And I figured that out by lining it up again. And I'll give the one I've already tied a little tug and pull this other one up so they're even. And then I can see where the knot needs to be. It needs to be right up about there, so tie the knot and leave it loose so that I can get it exactly where I want it. There. Get a little more room. There we go. All right, so the two pieces of ribbon are even and my bag is done. So if you have a, a, someone who's graduating and you're having a party, you could make these cute little bags and put a little gift in there for all of your graduates' friends. I hope you've enjoyed this um, presentation of an easy way to make a gift bag out of a single sheet of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. If you would like to give this a try or if you need any supplies from Stampin' Up! please go to my website at blackberriesandcream.net and click on the Shop Now button to go right to my Stampin' Up! store. Thank you very much. Happy Stampin'! Bye!